everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar with MLB 13 The Show, and here we go with Kevin Millar's Road to the Show. We're going to be north of the border in this one as the Red Sox are going to be facing the Blue Jays. So we're starting off the season four and six, really not too pretty, but that's okay. It is just the beginning of the season. We've got a lot of the season ahead of us. The one thing that I do find disappointing about how the season has started off is our team's batting average. We're sitting dead last at 205 for a team batting average. That is bad. So you kind of noticed it in the first couple games that Kevin Moore has had during this season where um, you know I've been pitching pretty well. Sure, I've given up a few hits and a few runs, but my team really hasn't been able to help me out by producing some runs themselves. So because of that, I mean, my pitching has prevented me from getting a loss, but I haven't been credited with a win yet either. So two starts. Not been credited to win or loss. I don't know. I don't like that. But anyway, next week, you guys, again, next week is when we're going to be having the live stream to benefit the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. It is going to be on Twitch TV slash Real Dunbar Snack Bar. So uh, Tom and I are going to be talking about the times and stuff like that today. So... Uh, I should put a video together tomorrow to guys to let you guys know what time things are going to be taking place, uh, our goal, and, you know, for how much money that we're going to raise, and the website to where you can donate. I mean, that stuff's really good because last time when Tom and I did a live stream uh, to benefit charity, we had this goal of $2,500, thought we could do it, but in reality... We only ended up like $210 or something like that. So it was pretty disappointing. So I'm hoping with something like this, uh, we can do a lot more because, I don't know, this is a really, really good cause. It's something that I and I know a lot of other people who will be joining the live stream as well feel very passionately about because we have been affected in one way or another by somebody else choosing to take their own life. So if we can do something to provide some resources for those who are seeking help, uh, and to kind of prevent somebody else from from doing what, what one of our friends or family members have done. We're all about it. So, again, that information should be up tomorrow as Tom and I will we'll talk uh, a little bit later today. But, yeah, I hope you guys can all join. I know I've been talking about it for quite a few months now. So that way you guys are in the know of what's going on. And it doesn't come as a surprise to anybody like, hey, where the heck did this come from? So, yeah. All right. Uh, baseball is back. I am excited about that. I've watched actually three baseball games already here. All of all of them with uh, different teams. Like yesterday I watched uh, the Angels and the Cubs, which it really wasn't too pretty at the beginning part of the game for the Cubs. But, man, this is so great. Like, I'm so excited that baseball is finally back and I get a chance to be able to watch it. Because baseball is something that means a lot to me. Uh, those of you who have been with me for some time, you guys have heard me t tell stories about when I was playing baseball, um, you know, I did a video called uh, The Case for Baseball. So, you know, where I kind of outlined why baseball is so great. And I've actually been doing it in a lot of these posts that I've been doing for HomePlateLA.com. Uh, like the last one that I did uh, about Eric Sogard, how he should win the um, base of MLB competition, which I won't go into that. I mean, I am kind of leaning more with some of the conspiracy theories on there especially with like I don't know the amount of tweets that that uh, David Wright got right there at the end but anyway it's just a popularity contest I gotta remember that anyway um, I mean I got pretty passionate about it and I think it's because I am so excited that sports uh, and I don't know sports is what it is and that baseball is back and all that good stuff so I'll go ahead and I'll link the article that I wrote about Eric Sogard just so that way you guys can kind of get a feel of what I was talking about. But, I don't know, it's actually been pretty cool writing for him. So, you guys should check him out. I know VA Baseball uh, writes for him to a lot of other YouTubers. So, it's kind of cool for us to all be able to get together, write a little bit. And I know some of you have shown some interest on being able to write for uh, Home Plate LA. So... Heck, I know there could always be more people who are writing for, you know, the NFL or NBA side of things because we've got a lot of MLB writers stacked up. So, like I said, I'll put that article in there uh, just so you guys can take a look and read it. But, 
Looks like the Red Sox were able to go ahead and produce a run, so it's just a matter of me making sure that the Blue Jays don't, and I get there in time. Sweet. That's probably been uh, the first double play that I've been a part of here for this season, and actually, now that I think about it, for quite some time. Because, uh, well, I've been focusing everything that I've got as far as training goes towards my pitches, I really haven't been doing too much towards, uh, you know, my speed and running and everything like that, which, you know, in a situation like that can go ahead and hurt because if I'm not at first base in time, well, go ahead and basically give it up a hit or a fielder's choice it would have been in that situation. Ah, uh, we got another run. Two to nothing here. Two, two count. Another base hit. Now, Blue Jays. I don't know. They've been getting a lot of good hits. And it have been a lot of small hits, too. I guess I have been really privileged that I haven't been able to get a big hit or anything like that. I mean, you guys have noticed it's, like, barely gotten out of the infield. But... Never mind. It's going to be a home run. Barely stays fair. But barely doesn't mean too much at all here. So game is tied now. So that puts a lot more pressure on me. Here I was thinking, all right, well, I'll get my first win with this, considering my team is actually hitting the ball pretty well. But honestly, it really hasn't been that great for my team as far as base hitting goes, because I think they only have like a total of three hits or something like that. And we're halfway through the game. Three hits, two runs. Uh, that's efficient, don't get me wrong. And I know that there have been some locks that have been included in there too, but I need to see some better base hitting. All right, well, we get out of the fourth here with that hit. Looks like uh, just a few shallow hits, but Johnny Gomes up at the plate. Now, I have gotten a few strikeouts as well, which I've been pretty happy about as well because I think the thing that I really need Kevin Millar to be able to do is to go ahead and get on a hot streak again because, of course, when you get on that hot streak, all of your attributes and everything like that are uh, you know, increased. And it just seems like, I, well, obviously I play a lot better when I'm on a hot streak, but not necessarily because of the attributes, just because I'm a lot more confident about how things are going to end up. So I am leading the majors right now with total strikeouts. So that's good. Uh, ERA, well, now that I've given up those two runs coming into this game, it was sitting at 0.55. And then, um, like I mentioned, no wins, no losses. And then uh, my whip is sitting at, I want to say like 0.86 or something like that. So overall, like, I'm rocking it. It's just I'm getting no support. So it, it's stuff like this that, you know, I when I talk about certain pitchers and stuff like that, like I'll favor some over another, not because of stats, but because of the team that they play for and the offense behind them. So you'll, you'll look at a pitcher who may be like, let's just say 12 and 2 or something like that. You know, and I'll be like, well, this guy who's, you know, eight and four is definitely the better pitcher because if you've got a lot more offense behind you and producing runs, well, that could be the difference between you winning and losing. So, all right, well, he's out. Jose Reyes thinking he could stretch that into a triple. At least I think that was Jose Reyes. Ah, uh, that one goes off of Kevin Millar's ankle or his foot or something like that. Finally. Something that goes my way when that happens. Because it seems like every time that there's a comebacker and it hits Kevin Millar, or if it's like in 30 wins or 30 teams or franchise or something like that, it always ends up being a base hit for the computer. But whenever I do it, it turns into an out, like a really easy out for the computer. So Kevin Millar is going to be just fine. I used to really worry every time that I saw that animation, but I don't think I've seen a pitcher end up with an injury because of the comebacker here in this game. So high fly ball into foul territory. Catch is made. We're good. All right. So we're still trucking along here. Team hasn't been able to produce any more runs, but on the flip side, neither has the Blue Jays. Ooh. Now I'm getting really excited about uh, MLB 14, the show. Watch some of the videos that they have released uh, about the game. Now the only ones I've been able to see are showing PS3. So I want to see what it's going to look like with the new graphics, of course, how it's, you know, how fluid it's going to be, 
you know, how they incorporate the animations and stuff. Because I don't know if it's just a copy and paste type of thing where the animations will automatically transfer on over. Or if they need to go ahead and just redo absolutely everything. I know with the models for the players, they've had to start over from scratch. So, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm getting really excited. I mean, Nolan Ryan, Jackie Robinson is my uh, road to the show players. And then I'll have the A's as the franchise. I haven't been able to watch an A's game yet this season for spring training just because they haven't had anything on MLB TV with uh, the A's in it. I think tomorrow will be the first opportunity to watch that. But seriously, like, I'm so excited about this franchise, probably more than any other franchise. So no offense, you guys, but like I said when I, I announced it, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this and getting a chance to be able to play as my own team. Well, that's going to be really awesome. And then uh, I don't know if all of you guys had heard this, but for Out of the Park Baseball 15, I will be playing as the Arizona Diamondbacks. So that's going to go over multiple seasons. So that'll be... That'll actually be really, really cool. Something very different than what I usually do because it's just one season and then we go ahead and end it. But I know with the A's one that it's going to be very different this year too since the game's coming out in May and, of course, the regular season you know, starts you know, April and um, you know, end of March, stuff like that. So I don't know how that'll play out. I still got to figure it out. I think I'm just going to go ahead and... and try and play as many games as I can until I get caught up. Probably just do the one um, one game a series. Usually I play more than that, but I may just have to be like, alright, well, whatever happens in this, we'll go ahead and play it. But Alright, so after the seventh inning, Kevin Millar gets pulled. So we're going to see how this game ends up. Look at that, we've gotten a total of six hits now. Uh, Jose Bautista hits a home run. Oh, I think they were resting him. I was like, why is he at the bottom of the lineup? I think they brought him in as a DH. I can't necessarily remember here, but... Yep, game's done and over with. We end up losing this one again. You really cannot blame Kevin Millar for this one. Five hits, eight Ks. No, you're yelling at the wrong person. You need to be yelling at some of the... The position players who are just refusing to hit the ball. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of this to come later on, of course. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Again, tomorrow is when uh, Tom and I will be announcing the details for the live stream. So hopefully we'll see you guys all there. All right, thanks again. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.